I'm at Walmart by myself. It's early, so Nick's still sleeping. Got to pick up my medication, grab a couple of other things, fries, um, once I have all that, it'll be good. I was gonna take out the chicken to thaw last night, but I forgot. It was five in the morning when I went to sleep. I was too tired, so just gonna grab some chicken here and keep the other one frozen. What's going on, Pickles? So I woke up to go uh, pick up my medication at the store. I have to take a prenatal every day, a folic acid every day uh, for baby's brain and like heart development or something, or just brain development. Prenatal just because of the natural vitamins um, that you need to take when you're pregnant and as well as two baby aspirin to keep my blood pressure down. So the folic acid I ran out two days ago, so I didn't take it yesterday and I just went and picked up my prescription today. Um, I went to Walmart and I hate going to Walmart because there's a subway in Walmart and I love subway, but I cannot have subway right now. So, uh, I went to the store thinking, okay, I'm out of caramel sauce and I'm out of butter and I need chicken because my chicken is frozen in the freezer and I need it thaw and ready to go now. So I'm just gonna grab some chicken. Then I was like, I'll grab a sweet because I know Nick probably wants a sweet tooth. And then I remembered last second that I was out of cereal. So I decided to head to the store and grab all those things that I needed as well as kind of just like looking around and seeing what stuck out to me. And what stuck out to me was candy. I was going to go to the bakery and grab some like bakery items, you know, a pie, donuts, cookies, or cake, or whatever, but then I decided, you know what, it'll be better if I grab like some candy. I like Boston baked beans, one of my favorite candies, and um, peanut M&Ms. I like uh, Snickers, I like Twix, just really candy with chocolate garble combos, um, or chocolate nut combos. So I picked up some candy and I also got Nick some nerds, because I know he likes nerds. I couldn't find like his favorite, favorite stuff, so I just had to settle for nerds. But um, when I saw the candy, I was like, yes, this is perfect. I'll get candy and I'll grab some cookies so that we can all have cookies, like including Jasmine. Because Jasmine, I don't like giving her candy as much as I like giving her like cookies and ice cream. I'd rather give her cookies and ice cream as her little dessert than candy. So that's what I decided. It's loud. Need to pick up my medication. I'm at the pharmacy. And groceries are bought. I'm just waiting for a farm tech or pharmacist or whatever to come help me so I can grab my um, folic acid. I got my meds. Last day of Black History Month. Rip. That means I'm closer to giving birth. We're getting cut open. However, it ends up. I hate coming in here because they have a subway and I can always smell it and I always want it. It's a shame, but I'm powering through. I just got a bunch of crap to eat instead. <laughs> it was pretty dead in the store. I'm not gonna lie. It was uh, noon 30 ish. Um, I got back around 111 and there was like nobody in the store pretty much. Um, it's the last day of Black History Month so I was walking around just enjoying myself, enjoying my peace and I'm like I love today, I love this month and I didn't even know it was a leap year. The 29th, that usually doesn't happen except when it's on our leap year. So when I made my pregnancy calendar I stopped it on the 28th and then you know went to March 8th or whatever that was the last day on the calendar and then I made a new calendar and when I was making the new calendar I was double checking on my phone that I had all the right days and I saw that there was February 29th so that's how I found out this year was a leap year which is crazy I'm having these babies on a leap year I had no idea so I don't know if that's like also some sort of good luckiness or whatever but it's funny because before I even conceived the, the twins which I conceived them in September um in like What's the month for August? In July, my moderators in my pickle moderator group chat were talking about Sydney. I feel like you're gonna have twins. I feel like this. I feel like you're gonna conceive twins. You wanna have a baby? You're gonna have two. And I'm like, ha ha ha! Don't even joke like that. Don't curse me. They don't even run my family, so I'm not worried about it. No twins for me. And they do run in my family. And there's twins in here. 
So here's a quick bump date for you guys. Um, I'm not wearing pants, so you're only gonna see a bit. Yes. Anyways, um, I am getting a lot bigger. I just went to the OBGYN last uh, vlog, last episode. So if you didn't tune into that, make sure to tune in. Uh, one of the babies is one pound 15 ounces and the other one is one pound 12 ounces. And that's great because they're almost two pounds. The halfway mark that they need to be at is two and a half pounds. And when they're five pounds, it's like the least likely chance they'll go in the NICU. So I'm super excited. Their development is doing great. They're ahead. Well, one of them is four, five days ahead. One of them is four days behind. But that's like within a week, which is like the margin of error. So the babies are doing fine. And I wanted to go to the store and I just get some sweets. I already have ice cream at the house. And I've been going crazy on ice cream and cake lately. I've been breaking out because of it. But um, I also wanted to get some cookies and candy for Nick and Jasmine and myself. Just for like little grabbables. You know what I'm saying? Ice cream, you gotta get the scoop out. You gotta scoop it. You gotta get a bowl. You gotta get a spoon. A cookie is just, I'm grabbing a cookie. I'm like, oh. Head into the car. It was a good visit. I'm just tired. I stayed up till 5 a.m. playing Minecraft and it's noon, so I didn't get much sleep. I'm probably gonna take a nap later, kind of get back on my regular sleep schedule. Um, but as of right now, Nick is still asleep. I think Jasmine's awake. I think I heard her on the way out the door, but I'm just walking my car. It's getting louder because of the cart. I told Nick I would be home in 20 minutes but i think he's still asleep so i don't think he's keeping track but i definitely exceeded that it stood like in the candy aisle for 20 minutes by itself i have ice cream at home but i wanted candy and cookies uh for nick because he's not as much of an ice cream person as i am and then i also get to benefit from candies and cookies um i love boston baked beans and like peanut m ms and pretty much any chocolate with peanut in it so i got some payday i love caramel Anyway, I need to get home, get hydrated, because I have not had enough water <laughs> for the past couple of days. I've been just drinking root beer and having root beer floats. I love root beer floats. Nick wanted to come with me to go to the store. I did go alone and I um, ended up grabbing just a few things. I didn't want to overwork myself grabbing as many things as possible. Plus we had just gone to the store a couple of days ago. So Nick would have come with me if he wasn't asleep. He was like, I had woke up and then I was like, oh, I would love to go back to sleep. But then I was like, oh, I have to get my medication. So just, I started overthinking and then my brain was like, okay, you're awake now. And I do have insomnia. So it's like, I barely sleep anyway. Um, I spent all night playing Minecraft. I freaking love Minecraft. I could sit there and play it for hours. My husband and I made a world on Minecraft, so we've been just going crazy playing it. He doesn't like Minecraft, but he plays it just for me. And he um, and I went to sleep at 5.30 in the morning. And so this morning I woke up at 12 and he stayed asleep till 1, but he would have gone with me if I had waited to go a little later or if we hadn't stayed up so late. So he wasn't there because he didn't want to be or anything. He was just dead asleep. And then I texted him when I was leaving the store. I was like, are you awake? And he's like, literally, as you texted me, are you awake? I was waking up. So he ended up um, meeting me outside to help me bring the groceries in. And I had planned to make for breakfast chicken biscuits. Basically fry the chicken, put them in some biscuits, whether you homemade the biscuits or just get them out of a bo uh, like a round tin or whatever, either way chicken biscuits were on the menu so I got everything I needed for that and then I was I've been craving wings so I got some wings at the store I'm gonna make hot wings maybe not today but in general I'm gonna make them my friend's like oh you should try this wing place and I'm like you know what I can make some wings I make some pretty killer wings so whatever um Nick helped me put all the groceries away he brought them all inside I only had to carry one bag and um then after that we let Jasmine come out of her room because she was in her room all morning and then we let her come out and she started running around like crazy. Nick put on some underwear for her, like big girl underwear, and she immediately pooped in the big girl underwear. So it was disgusting, we had to throw them away. It was just a hot mess, a disgusting hot mess. Um, but she was running around like crazy, like you could literally hear her feet patter, 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 patter through the floor. Like who knows why she was running around so much. Like I don't know where she got all that energy. All she had for breakfast was a tiny bowl of cereal, tiny bowl. Um, speaking of, my rings are so loose. I've been wearing these rings for like almost two years and they're so loose. People say in pregnancy, their hands get swollen, their feet get swollen. When should I take off my jewelry? Oh, I'm taking off my jewelry in this um, second trimester because I'm already getting fat, I'm already swelling. My ring falls off like if I just do this. Like I'm not doing it because it's like, it's already right there when I do that. If I'm wiping off crumbs off the bed, my ring flies off and it's like, I don't know. 
but anyway the pregnancy has been going good i feel healthy i feel great um and i'm hoping i can just shed this weight really quickly it's different with the singleton it's like oh just one little baby gained like 20 pounds doing fine but with two now I gotta work on shedding this weight ASAP. But these babies are coming in May. They're coming sometime in May. May is two months away at this point because we're about to be in March 1st tomorrow. So March 1st tomorrow, the babies can come as early as May 1st to May 25th. So that's my window, the three weeks of window between 37 weeks and 34 weeks. So they can come at any time in May. So I'm just saying May is my due time, due date, whatever. But it's literally one day till March. Let's, ah, I'm just excited. So I need biscuits because I'm making chicken biscuits. They're going to be sweet. So I need my sweet sauce, sweet sauce. And I have my chicken here that I'm going to tenderize, make it a little bit like flat or whatever. And once I tenderize it, I'm going to bread it and fry it. This is on for the biscuits. They take like 12 minutes. This is on for the bit, uh, for the chicken. That's almost warm, so I'm gonna get started on the mixture. Super simple mixture here. Um, it's just gonna be flour seasoned in one bowl, egg, and a little bit of water in another bowl, and the last bowl is gonna be breadcrumbs, or uh, if you like, uh, crushed up chips or crackers. So I got my bowls. So I found some saltines in the cupboard that haven't been eaten in months. It's gonna get into a nice crummy consistency. And I used some breadcrumbs in there as well. So I got my breadcrumbs and my saltines, my egg and my flour mixture. So whisk that up a bit. Whisk this up a bit. And then whisk this. Then I'm gonna just dip, dip, dip. So once everything's dipped in the mixture, you're gonna have the breadcrumbs left, and that's good because, oop, grab this. You're gonna have the breadcrumbs left as the last dipping element. You wanna just get it on all good sides and then drop it in your fryer or your grease pot or whatever you're using, wherever the hot grease is, the hot oil. And just drop it in for two minutes, maybe three. Then I season it after it comes out, a little salt, a little pepper, and then they look nice and golden. And then they'll go perfect in between these buns once they're done in about maybe five to seven minutes. But yes, take my bread mixture back over here and then just keep going with the process. There it is, got a little bit of honey butter on there and the crispy chicken is done. I think this is the best chicken biscuit I've ever done. Uh, Nick will be my judge. Uh, the food's super hot, it's like fresh. Everything is fresh off the skillet, so he's probably not gonna eat it for another 10 minutes, but I'm about to take a bite and see how it goes. I made two, but I'm probably only gonna eat one. It's not as sweet because there's not enough honey butter. <laughs> I just like squeeze the rest out of the bottle, but it's good. So I thought it would be fun if I gave Nick a little questionnaire, just the four questions. Um, I wasn't going to go online and like find questionnaires because he would get bored with that really quickly. Um, I wasn't going to do a long amount of questions because he's playing video games in his man cave right now. But I wrote questionnaires. Is Sydney cute, controlling, fun, or weird? Pick one. Is Sydney adorable, beautiful, sexy, or pretty? Pick one. My wife is silly, cute, creative, or a hoot. Pick one. My wife is kind, sweet, or caring. My wife is the love of my life, my baby mama, um, my roommate, or uh, 
she's around AF, meaning pregnant. Um, so I want to see which ones he chooses. It'll be cute if he like goes all of the above or whatever and like makes his own answer. But like I just want to see like out of these options, even though they're all good answers, which one he chooses. And arguably you'd say is Sydney cute, controlling, fun, or weird? Controlling and weird are like this, but I am controlling and weird, so it's like I don't really care. And I made the questionnaire. <laughs> and then um, I felt like he would like kind of feel left out if he he did one for me, so I made one for him. And I made the questions and I'm going to fill it out. So is Nick cute, handsome, sexy, or a DILF? <laughs> I'm probably going to choose a DILF. Um, is Nick uh, fun, annoying, silly, or weird? Probably going to choose annoying. My husband is funny, silly, crazy, or a hoot. Or funny, silly, crazy, or a hoot. And I'm probably going to choose a hoot because he's not funny. <laughs> and then is Nick my love, my baby daddy, a gun nut, or my roommate? I'm going to probably choose my love, but yeah. Um, I'm going to give him this questionnaire right now and then review the answers with y'all in just a second. Wish me luck. I need you to fill out this questionnaire real quick. Right and then when you're done with the questionnaire, open that questionnaire. Yes. So I can only answer one, one, one answer. Yes, and I have to pee, so be done by the time I pee. Aww. <laughs> I'm uh, annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so, I... Sydney is cute, controlling, fun, or weird. He chose weird. Sydney is adorable, beautiful, sexy, or pretty. He chose beautiful. My wife is funny, silly, creative, or a hoot. He chose a hoot, and I chose a hoot on his. My wife is kind, sweet, caring. He chose sweet. I'm not kind or caring. <laughs> my wife is the love of my life, baby mama, or roommate, round AF. He chose the love of my life, so we chose the same one, love of my life and a hoot. But the answers were a little different because he's a guy and I'm a girl, so I had to choose like handsome versus beautiful and stuff like that, so. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. <laughs> I'm gonna end it here, it's, it's, I'm not upset about the, it's just funny. We were both laughing in the garage and then I came in here to film this, so I'm gonna go play Minecraft. Um, and I'm watching like Sister Wives on my phone and like listening to it as background noise and playing Minecraft. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna go live today. I have so much to do. I have five minute requests to film. I have a YouTube video to film before like midnight. And I also have um, to download TikTok live streams and upload them. So it's just a lot to do. I don't know if I'm gonna go live today. It's Black History Month. Maybe I should take the day off. But if I do work, it'll be great. <sighs> I don't know. We will see. Bye, Nichols.